everyone, it's Olivia, and yeah, it's gonna say something, but I forgot. But anyways, um, today I'm gonna be showing you a quick, like little um, cooking video. I like to do, we know, running around. <laughs> anyways, um, I like to do like easy um, cooking videos because I like cooking, but I'm not that good at it. But, um, my probably top five favorite foods ever is chocolate-covered pretzels. I always, always, always have covered pretzels in my house because everybody in my family loves covered pretzels. Like, right now, I have, um, peanut buttered covered pretzels. I'll show you all. So, at the moment, I have these, like, snack wells, um covered pretzels things and like I said in my house we always have like chocolate covered pretzels or like peanut butter covered pretzels or something like that I don't know because they're so delicious that's why but yeah I'm gonna show you how you can make them at your house and like it's super duper easy I don't really need to do a tutorial to show you but I just felt like mm, why not you know and today I'm gonna be showing you some Valentine Valentine colored chocolate pretzels and they're so delicious I made some last night and they were all gone in like 20 minutes okay so the things you need to make um, chocolate covered pretzels is um, obviously pretzels I just have the like the shop and stop brand pretzels um, to tell you the truth I like the Snyder ones better the Snyder ones better but we ran out last night because I made um, la made them last night. So um, yeah, so just any pretzels really like will do. Cause um, then you'll need like a plate, obviously, so you can put them on the plate when they're dry. You also will need um, some wax paper. Um, you will need like a bowl. I just have like this really cute mug bowl. And yeah, I like it because like you can take it out without like burning your hand or whatever. Um, yeah, so I like this. Um, also a spoon and a fork to like mix the chocolate and to like tap the extra chocolate off. And then you'll need some um, chocolate. Um, I really like the, this kind of chocolate. But yeah, any chocolate will do. I recommend like this kind of chocolate, the candy wafers. And this is vanilla chocolate in pink. Yeah, so these are really good. And this is optional. Um, some sprinkles to put on top. I don't know. They kind of like taste better, in my opinion, with sprinkles. This is just the like the Betty Crocker red sprinkles that look like this. But yeah, um, you probably can find everything in this video at your house but um, you probably don't have these laying around in your house but if you if you don't just like run in the store or whatever um, but yeah everything else you probably can find around in your house somewhere so yeah let's get started okay first things first you're gonna need um, a bowl obviously and you're gonna take um, some chocolate you can do like white chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, it doesn't matter, and you're just going to pour, um, you're just really going to eyeball the amount you're going to need. I'm actually going to use, like, um, the rest of the bag. So you're going to need about that much chocolate, which is probably, like, 30, like, wafers or something. Yeah, it looks like that, and um, you're going to microwave this for 30 seconds, and then you're going to put it in the microwave again for 10 more seconds, and then stir it again, and if it's still not fully, like, um, melted, just put it in for another 10 seconds, and stir it in again, so that's what I'm going to be doing right now. Now, when you're waiting for the white chocolate to cook, you're going to take your wax paper, and you're just going to lay it out right in front of you. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now.
Okay, so the wax paper is out, and I'm going to go get the chocolate. Okay, so um, it actually took like 45 seconds to um, like melt the chocolate. And then now the chocolate looks like this. And now the fun part. You're going to take um, your chocolate, um, no, your pretzel, and dump it into the chocolate like this. I'm going to get closer so you can see what I'm doing. And you're just going to take the spoon and just, like, drench it in white chocolate. And, yeah, I like doing this part. It's kind of fun. And then once it's, like, fully in white chocolate, you're going to take your fork. And just tap a couple of seconds to get all the extra chocolate off. So now it's like like this, and you're just gonna place it on the wax paper like that. And then before it dries, you want the um, take the sprinkles. You just wanna. Put some sprinkles on top of it, like that. So now it's drying, and now I'm going to just um, finish up with the chocolate. Okay, so with about 30 um, wafer chocolate wafers, I need like one, two, three. I made like 14 huge like pretzel, chocolate covered pretzels and um, yeah that's like a lot um, because I can only have like three of them then I get really full because I don't know, they fill you up so fast and um, after you like, um, like covered and sprinkled all them, um, you can see that some of them are starting to dry like this one dried already and yeah it looks like this let me get the extra chocolate off but yeah it looks like this when it's done and look how yummy that looks like oh my god I just want to eat it right now but I'm gonna set them all on this plate and I really like this because you can like, look there's like a little imprint, but it's like super fun and easy and um, yeah, I really like it because it could be like a little sweet treat because I eat these chocolates like all year round because they're so delicious. But yeah, um, I just wanted to show you a quick video on how to make these fabulous <laughs> um, pretzels and if you want them to dry faster I would put them in the um, refrigerator for like five minutes and um, they're all they will like all harden up but I'm just gonna let them set here for like 10 minutes or so and I'll show you what they look like when they're done I don't even think I needed to make a video to show you this but I did anyways because I want to show you how easy it could make you can make these and you don't have to really buy them at the store for like five dollars you can like make them for like three dollars so yeah I'm like so tempted to eat it right now and yeah I hope you guys enjoy and I'll talk to you guys later bye everyone